All right, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Pankur Agrawal. I'm a Solutions Manager with Intel Corporation. Um, and I'm here to present the Network Service Benchmarking Tool. Uh, let me just clarify a few things. Uh, this is not an Intel tool. This is an open source tool that we are trying to promote for NFP ecosystem acceleration. How many of you are developers out here? OK, good. So majority of the audience is developer heavy, which is good. And I, I'm assuming they are, you're, you're always looking for uh, testing of your applications, be it performance testing, be it service level testing, and we have a lot of problems when we do uh, application testing for the uh, for the e for the ecosystem. Uh, why do we do this? Why are we doing this tool from Intel? We don't sell uh, software. We are doing we are a hardware company. We want the ex the NFV ecosystem to accelerate uh, very quickly, and that's why we're trying to solve a few of the problems that we face uh, and we have collected from our ISVs from our application developer community. One of them is we don't have uh, specific telco grade uh, benchmarks available out there. The network workload changes. As we have more and more applications coming in on the existing infrastructure, we have more complexity of the applications that are being built every day. Uh, it's not clear what those uh, KPIs are uh, specifically. When uh, somebody develops an application, the hardware part is not is like a black box usually. They, they don't have enough information from the hardware level all the way to the software level. So system capacity does not play a very, uh, very important role when you're doing application development. And when you do application performance testing, that does play a role. So how do you connect the dots between application development and hardware development? Um, network workload scalability. Uh, in in an NFP deployment, Many a times we need to scale out an application. So just building one instance or running one instance on for an application is not an option anymore. We need to be able to scale out. Uh, the applications run multiple applications on a sing single uh, system. The thing that we have heard most from the ISVs, sorry, go ahead. So are you going to cover all the, I mean, different packet sizes, for example, IPv4 traffic, or V6 can I benchmark? So the host level of forwarded traffic. Right. And uh, typically these are the... Type of tests and KPIs. KPIs. So KPIs. we will cover some of the KPIs and some of the traffic flows and tests uh, when we do the demo. And we'll have a Q&A on what more can be added there. The first part is to give you the overview of what this tool is about, what are the problems we are trying to solve with the tool. That's about 10, 15 minutes. And then MJ is going to run through the traffic flows and the actual uh, KPI questions that you might have. Okay. Uh, now, when we go to ISV providers, and some of you as an application developer go to uh, your customers as well, there is a lack of a single acceptance criteria or single tool that can tell us, uh, tell them what applications they can deploy easily. For example, uh, a firewall application. There are different firewall vendors out there. Everybody has their own KPIs, own set of benchmarking. The problem that ISV uh, providers they, they face is that when they look at different application or same application from different vendors, they don't know which what is the right criteria or on which they can judge. So this tool is supposed to work as one of the tools they can use in their onboarding process, in the VNF onboarding process. And this tool will help them uh, if, if all the developers and application providers use this tool as well to give out their performance numbers. Okay, what, what does this tool uh, also help with? Right now, uh, we don't have a clear answer on whenever you develop an application, when the infrastructure changes, how the performance changes. When you do stress level testing, when you want to do service level testing, you don't have a good uh, framework out there right now which will tell you how your application will perform. This tool will basically uh, help you out in, in both those scenarios. Uh, you will be able to change uh, infrastructure it, it's infrastructure agnostic, so be it Intel-based, be it ARM-based, you can you can deploy this tool on any of this uh, on any of the infrastructures, and you can uh, benchmark your application accordingly, and you can tweak your application accordingly. Uh, this is an open source tool. Uh, we do want the community to contribute. Uh, we, as Intel, are providing this tool for acceleration of the ecosystem, but we expect uh, both from the developers, ISVs, and TEMS to contribute to the code. So that they can change either the infrastructure or the application or the uh, different different uh, test loads or the traffic flows, and they can test their tool out. That's the uh, that's the intent of this tool. 
Uh, one of the most important things is uh, we we are going to have a lot of changes in the traffic flows given the how the ecosystem is developing, how we are adding new applications with a lot of more devices being connected. So the load is increasing. The, the way applications are being used is, in, is changing. So we need to address that and we need a tool where we can dynamically or very quickly add to the capability of the tool to test out the application. So as, as we were discussing before, uh, as part of this tool, what do we do right now? We uh, go and we have contributed to the tool in OPNFP project under Yardstick. So Yardstick is a testing framework where we have contributed most of the code of this tool into. We have also contributed some sample VNFs uh, like uh, virtual router, uh, virtual firewall, uh, v VACL, VCPE, so that people can use those sample applications to see how the tool is working and how those applications are working. We are also adding uh, different, uh, we are also adding benchmarks uh, to the tool, and we are also adding different set of traffic flows, different set of tests that we are, we are putting in the tool that you can uh, test your application on. There are different applications with different requirements. We are adding those into the, uh, in the testing framework. Uh, we do expect others to contribute to the tool as well. Uh, and this is all open source right now. Everything, all the ingredients, all the testing framework uh, uses open source ingredients. Having said that, it, it, you can also add and test using commercial uh, ingredients on your own. Uh, but tool intent is just to make sure it works with all the open source ingredients. So this is just a bit overview of how you know the work flows. You have applications on the top, then you have all your infrastructure on the bottom, and then you have all the layers and, and the software layers there. The tool itself sits here. It's a, it's a test harness that will allow you to test any of these. So if you change, for example, an application up there, it will still give you the results on the application performance and also results on the NFBI performance, which is the hardware performance. If you change a component in here from, from you know, FIDO to uh, DPDK, you can still be able to uh, test your entire stack using that application. If you change anything here on the hardware side, make it Intel or ARM or whatever you have, you can still get your performance number for your application. And the tool is basically trying to, from a logical point of view, it sits on the side and tries to uh, test your stack out. Sample VNFs that we have uh, already uploaded and it's already available for you to play with. Some of them are CGNAT, ACL, VPE, all part of the OPNFP project. It, they, are, they, are, they are free, they are open sourced, and that's what we have used before. As I said, uh, one of the important things is it has to be the test that we run. Uh, has to be automated. So you don't have to manually change all the test scenarios. Once you change one ingredient, the, the results are automatic. It's an automated tool. That's the most important thing for this tool. It, it, yeah, sorry. You mentioned V-router as well, right? Did you yeah. mention, I, is that also part of uh, which V-router is this? I thought you mentioned V-router. Yes, we have a sample V-router. Sample or your own? Uh, yes, so it's, it's a sample V-router. It's not a commercial V-router yet. Uh, the ones we have uploaded in the OPNFP project are sample VNFs. We do intend to work with the commercial VNFs, as in when, so we are developing partnership for this tool with commercial uh, VNF providers as well, uh, be it Firewall, like Palo Alto Firewall or you know, HP Vrouter, um, VEPC companies, we are working with them uh, so that we have commercial applications also developed at the same time. But for now, it is uh, sample VNFs. So uh, do you also have the, mm, the uh, the, the comparisons between the uh, FIDO and the OVS. Or, so, I mean, do you is that also part of the scope? Yeah. So, yeah, that is part of the scope. So, as you, as, as I said, if you change, for example, FIDO, <laughs> and have another component, right, on the vSwitch layer, you will ha see the performance difference. So, you can you can have that. The capability is there. You will have to generate and see the report out. So, I don't I cannot give you an example of right now how the improvement is based on. I don't know what your test load is, but you can have that. That is capability that's there. So you can compare ingredients as well. You can compare uh, hardware ingredients, software ingredients, applications, different applications running on the infrastructure using the same tool. Oh, I think it's uh, the VIL enhancements. Yeah. Um, I. Yeah, I don't remember the full form, but I think it, it has to do with the um, 
application add-ons that you can have on that layer, between the layers. But I don't remember the exact full form of that. Here? Where? It's uh, VNF infrastructure libraries. So yeah, so as I said, there's a, these are enhancements on the applications. But yeah, I didn't remember the full form. But yeah, it's there. VNF infrastructure libraries. Oops, did I jump? No. Yeah. So as we said, for this tool, the current scope, as somebody was asking, we have a bare metal uh, environment. We have a standalone VM environment. We also are planning to release the open stock, uh, open stack deployment as well for this particular uh, VNF performance bench benchmarking. So we cover all three different environments in one particular tool. You don't have to change tools for that. Uh, our main goal is to collect network KPIs, VNF KPIs, and also NFVI KPIs. These are, so you can change the infrastructure, have uh, you know, different performances based on NFVI KPI. You can change the ingredients, and you can see what the VNF performance is. It is agnostic right now to the hardware. It is also an easy automated tool. You don't have to go to two different tools. It's just one tool trying to solve uh, the problem that way. Uh, why developers would be interested in that? Because we are pushing and working with the ISVs to make sure they use this as part of their onboarding process, as part of their acceptance criteria for new applications. So that will be an uh, interest point from the customer point of view. From a developer point of view yourself, it, it gives you abil ability to stress test, uh, service level test, and also change ingredients in the stack and see what the, how the performance changes. For example, FIDO might be a good, good ingredient for you. You might have challenges with DPDK. So you can figure it out once you start using this tool. Uh, so as I said, we need to make sure we cover all three environments. We can also do scale up and scale out. Uh, you can run multiple instances of the same application and see what the performance is. You can also load more applications, many applications, into one environment and see what the performance is. So that way, you're covering um, scale up and scale out features as well. So where, where are we putting this code up? This code is going up to in OPNFP under Yachtstick project. Uh, as mentioned. We also have sample VNFs, also part of the OPNFV project right now. We are integrated with different uh, traffic generators, so it's just not one. We are not specific to one of them. We have T-Rex, uh, Ixia, uh, Spirant work is going on right now. We also plan to have more commercial plugins into this open source uh, uh, tool so that people can use it. Uh, every, uh, for, for now, our our goal is to put a tool, a working tool, across three environments for the application users. Uh, we do expect the community to add to the code. It's an open source project. Uh, if, from a developer's point of view, if you guys can add what you require uh, from this tool for, for your specific application, what are traffic flows you want to be tested. So you can add that code into the tool. Uh, it's all, uh, as I said, it's all open source. It goes through a process, OPNFE process which is fairly easy, I can go through that. But uh, uh, for now, we are, we are focusing on what we have learned from our ISVs, what we have learned from our uh, application developer uh, companies, that what is that they want now uh, to be done. So we're giving it a starting point, we're giving it a, a tool which, which, which can be used today, and then uh, from there it has to evolve on its own uh, along with the help of the community. And that's the intent of, uh, for us to promote this tool out there. Now, uh, there are several issues. Or, uh, so this, this is just a diagram of how, uh, how it goes into what project, like open, OPNFE project. How do we do open source implementations? We are based on uh, primarily on HC uh, framework. Uh, these are the companies and partners. I know you cannot, you cannot see it very clearly in, in here right now. Uh, are the slides going to be shared later on? Yeah. They are, OK. So there are various partners we have already working with. And you can take a look at what the partners, uh, partnerships are. Uh, we started the work on this tool about a year back. And now uh, it has evolved with the OPNFP e-release, which is happening in September. We intend to uh, uh, have a full working launch session of this particular tool. I'll take since, questions. Since you mentioned standards, uh, there is an IETF, uh, there's a benchmarking uh, work group. Yes. So, so there are different RFCs. RFCs, they right? They right. try to benchmark different things. Uh, yes. So are you participating in that? Or yes, so we are uh, going to include... Using, yeah. They also define methodologies also, right? Of course. So that, that way everybody follows uh, 
right. kind of uh, so based on the application right for example yeah. virtual firewall they have right, right. rfc 3511 and 25 24 something, something yeah. right so both the rfcs will be part of the tool they will be included so as for the application the rfcs change and and also the uh, testing change so we, we will be including them and that's what we look up to the community as well if for example if it's missing an rfc you know just add it or just put a request in or maybe the community will work on it we will in in the beginning provide certain rfcs for example for firewall as i said uh, 3511 which includes the control plane uh, kpis and traffic flows and also 25 or 24 something is also included. So we are including RFCs as per the application requires because they are different RFCs for different applications, different uh, testing scenarios. So we, we cover that. Okay, so um, with that, I would move it to MJ unless there are any questions about the intent of the tool, uh, what are we trying to achieve, how are you, you guys going to use it? I see a question. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. This is related to OPNFE uh, release E. Uh, okay. I understood from morning presentation by Deepak at the OPNFE technical meeting mm -hmm. that uh, virtual EPC you may not include in E. Is that correct? Yes. So, uh, two parts to it. One is a sample VEPC which is NGIC, is what we are calling it, and one is the commercial VEPC work. So the commercial VEPC work will definitely not be part of the e-release. The, even the sample VEPC work, uh, right now we are, we are not there yet. We might include it, but that's not the plan right now. Okay. So with the feature freeze that has happened, I think, I believe, last week uh, with OPNFV, uh, we are not intending to cover that right now. No, OPNFE feature freeze is tomorrow, Friday. Or maybe tomorrow, uh, July something. And then something, you yeah. can get an extension by one week. Yeah, we are not planning right now. Okay. So yeah. other question is, uh, how much of these will be done in OPNFE and other upstreams like OpenStack or uh, ONAP or whatever? So ONAP is fairly new. Uh, it just formed, I believe, three to six months back. Uh, we, uh, right now, our only place where we upload the code is OPNFE. How that will play with the manual stacks, like ONAP or OSM for that matter, we still have to figure out. Uh, right now, the direction is, uh, when it comes to uploading of the code, it goes to OPNFE for now. As I said, ONAP is fairly new. It's still <laughs> figuring out what we need to do and how the, where the code will go when it comes to specific ONAP. Maybe we'll have, have a side project relating to ONAP in OPNFE. Maybe so, we'll do something else. So that's not clear yet. So on the uh, VNF uh, catalog, mm -hmm. specifically, uh, we heard that APIs will be uh, in the later stages. But at the same time, uh, if you know, this is for NFE. Is that correct? NFE ecosystem, yes. Yeah, so in the NFE, uh, the catalog structures uh, either reside in the uh, man VNF management level Okay. Or it is in the NFE orchestration layer in the HC NFE reference right. architecture. Mm -hmm. Given that, uh, the catalog that you have projected, is it a marketplace catalog? Or is it just a uh, VNF manager catalog? Uh, so what layer do you see right, the catalog right. being positioned here? So right now, whatever we have uh, put in as, as a uh, sample VNFs, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's not... It, or it's 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 uh, orchestration agnostic. What we have we are uh, we are focusing on is uh, VNF uh, performance, irrespective of what the orchestration is doing. That's the focus right now. Uh, moving forward, how it will play with the with ONAP or any other orchestration engines and how the performance will change. That those are all capabilities we need to add to the tool. That's not there right now. That's the plan moving forward to add how the manual interacts with the application, how the performance changes. So even even assuming that it is placed in the OPNFE, mm -hmm. we are okay with placement in OPNFE. Okay. The issue is in OPNFE, we have artifacts.opnfe.org as the place for cataloging the artifacts. Okay. Which may include, uh, I don't know whether it includes VNF. So should it not in, be included there or this is separated? So <coughs> some thought these, on that. Right. Uh, all, these pro all these VNFs are part of a project which is called a sample VNFs in part of the OPNFP. <coughs> if you're asking very specific OPNFP and how it goes, I'm not very familiar with how it goes into okay. that. So okay. uh, I can get you somebody who can answer how it fair, gets fair into enough. it. Yeah. Fair enough. I can just give you some idea. 
No, that's okay. I mean, uh, no, no, as I just said, just for the sake of sure. simplicity, the repo which you are talking about, yours will go into your repo, project repository. Okay. A project can have multiple repository. Right. So if you want to just place your uh, VNFs into a repository, you can have two repository, one for your code and everything, one for the within the project. Uh huh. That's an option for you. All right, I'll pass on the feedback. But as I said, uh, I don't control how it goes into OPNFE. I just know that's where it goes. So, but okay. that's a good feedback. We'll add Thanks. it. Okay. Any other questions before MJ? I know you have a big lab, uh, and it's really an afternoon. I, everybody's awake. Everybody had their coffee, uh, okay. and they're ready for doing some work. I see one more question, and then I'll pass it to MJ. I can't hear you very well, sir. Is there a link for what? Is there a link for the pre-built VM or the, the appliance? No, so the VM we are going to now. So you have it. Yeah. USB yeah, I think we're collecting a batch. So the USB stick, what we have, okay. it has a VM. So we are going to give it to you. You are going to copy and do back. Okay. So do I give it to Not now, not now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pass on the mic to MJ. Huh? Thank you. Uh, you are very uh, good audience. Thanks for. <laughs> having me. I'll be outside uh, after the session as well. Thank you.